prehistoric Shetland refers to a period in the human occupation of the Shetland archipelago of Scotland that was before the Viking invasions of around 900 AD. The Shetland Islands is a subarctic archipelago that lies northeast of the island of Great Britain and forms part of Scotland. The islands lie some 80 km to the northeast of Orkney and 280 km southeast of the Faroe Islands and form part of the division between the Atlantic Ocean to the west and the North Sea to the east. The total area is 1,466 square kilometers and the total population about 23,000 inhabitants. The largest island, known simply as Mainland, has an area of 967 square kilometers, making it the third largest Scottish island. There are an additional 15 inhabited islands. Humans have lived on Shetland Islands since the Mesolithic period. Shetland is extremely rich in physical remains of the prehistoric eras and there are over 5,000 archaeological sites. A midden site at West Woe on the south coast of mainland, dated to 4300 to 4000 BC, has provided the first evidence of Mesolithic human activity on Shetland. The same site provides dates for early Neolithic activity and finds at Scord of Brewster in Walls, which have been dated to 3400 BC. This site includes a cluster of six or seven walled fields and three stone circular houses that contains the earliest hoe blades found so far in Scotland. Shetland knives are stone tools that date from this period, made from felsite from North Mavin. Heel-shaped cairns are a style of chambered cairns unique to Shetland, with a particularly large example on the island of Elmantry. Stanidale Temple near Bigster is a large Neolithic ruin containing an oval chamber. Around it are the remains of houses, walls and cairns of the same period. There are numerous Neolithic era standing stones, including those at Yoxi on Walsey and at Bardstable, Anst. High Altadens on Fedler is a ring of stones, although there are no true stone circles as such in Shetland. Fanzi Gert is a remarkable dividing wall that ran for 4 km across the island of Fetler. The level of organization involved suggests a relatively high population for Shetland in the Neolithic, perhaps as much as 10,000. Pottery shards found at the important site of Jarshof indicate that there was Neolithic activity there, although the main settlement dates from the Bronze Age. This includes a smithy, a cluster of wheelhouses, and the later brock. The site has provided evidence of habitation during various phases right up until Viking times. Numerous brocks were erected during the Iron Age. The brock of Musa is the finest preserved example in Scotland of these round towers. In addition to Musa, there are significant brock ruins at Clickimin, Calswich, Old Scatness and West Burford although their origin and purpose is a matter of some controversy. In Roman times, in 43 AD and 77 AD, the Roman authors Pomponius Mela and Pliny the Elder referred to the seven islands they called Hemode and Akmode, respectively, both of which are assumed to be Shetland. Another possible early written reference to the islands is Tacitus' report in 98 AD, after describing the discovery and conquest of Orkney that the Roman fleet had seen Tule too. Tule is first mentioned by Pythias of Massilia when he visited Britain sometime between 322 and 285 BC, but it's unlikely he meant Shetland as he believed it was six day sail north of Britain and one day from the frozen sea. The Roman presence in Scotland was little more than a series of relatively brief interludes of partial military occupation within a longer continuum of indigenous development, and there is no evidence of any direct contact between Shetland and the Roman forces. The later Iron Age inhabitants of the Northern Isles were probably Pictish, although the historical record is sparse. First mentioned in Irish annals for 558 to 560, Bryday, son of Melchon, was king of the Picts from 554 to 584. Although Shetland inhabitants appear to have been Pictish in culture and speech at this time, they are likely to have regarded Bryday as a fairly distant presence. 
The Saint Ninian's Isle treasure was discovered under a cross-marked slab in the floor of the early Saint Ninian's Church on the 4th of July 1958 by local schoolboy Douglas Coates. Coates was helping visiting archaeologists led by Professor A.C. Odile of Aberdeen University at a dig on the Isle. The silver balls, jewelry and other pieces are believed to date from approximately 800 AD. The treasure is the best survival of Scottish silver metalwork from the period and the brooches show a variety of typical Pictish forms. The treasure was donated to the National Museum of Antiquities of Scotland in 1965 and is currently in the Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh, whilst replicas are held by the Shetland Museum. Shetland was colonized by Norsemen in the late 8th and 9th centuries. The fate of the previous indigenous population is uncertain. According to the Orkney Inga saga, Vikings then used the islands as a base for pirate expeditions against Norway and the coast of mainland Scotland. In response, Norwegian king Harald Fairhair annexed the Northern Isles comprising Orkney and Shetland in 875 and the Rongbald Eisenstone received Orkney and Shetland from Harald as an earldom in reparation for the death of his son in battle in Scotland. Some scholars believe that this story is apocryphal and based on the later voyages of Magnus Berlitz. Nonetheless, as the Viking era developed, Shetland emerged from the prehistoric period and into the era of Britain history.